Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time, we are getting it all in Star Wars Episode 1, Racer. This was developed by Aspia Media and Disney Interactive Studios, published by Aspia Studios, and is usually available for £12.49, but it's totally free right now with Games of Gold for the month of May 2023 for free. So, download that boy, boy. So this is actually quite the fun little arcade racer, but there are two ways you can go, go, uh, go about getting the 1k. If you're going to be doing it legit, racing every race, of which there are 21, only the last race may give you some troubles really, uh, even with all the upgrades. Otherwise, uh, pretty much the 20 of them are straightforward and pretty simple. But today we shall be doing it the other way. Oh yes, the controversy never stops as cheats will enter the system to make this game easier than peeling a banana skin off your grandparents' back. Or something. Uh, but these cheats do make this a very easy completion once you know what you're doing. Personally, this took me just over an hour and that's with a lot of stops and doing nothing in between. So it'll probably be way less for you. Uh, you're probably going to be looking around maybe 30 minutes, maybe close to an hour. It's around those ballpark and times of life. So anyway, with that being said then, let's do it. So what you're going to do is click on tournament, then the first empty slot, that's fine. Now what you need to do is hold the left trigger and enter this code and select each letter with the left bumper so it's on the bottom. So don't press the A button like I did. If you do, just press the back button, that's fine. Um, but again, so you need to hold a uh, left trigger for the entire time and select each letter with the left bumper. So what you need to put in is RRT. Um, again, if you do um, end up pressing it with the A button again, just delete it by pressing the B button. That's all good. Uh, but RRT, A-N-G, E-N-T, A-B-A-C-U-S. So that is the code that you need, and if you need help remembering, just think of it as uh, Ur Tangen Tabacus. So that's probably a much easier way to remember. So remember, Ur Tangen Tabacus. Happy days. Once you are all done, it should say OK in the bottom left-hand corner. If it does say OK in the bottom left-hand corner, that means that you've done it correctly. Then you can just select any initials, uh, click A to end. So it actually creates the save file, and then you can pick a character, and now we're going to back out twice. So back out, and then click the next empty slot down there at the bottom. So that will be your... So we've got the cheat one on the top one there, but we need to select another empty one. So this time, you can literally just choose anything you want. I'm going to go for a... Um, what's that one word where you just... Uh, you know, you're feeling a bit... Uh, you're feeling a bit... Uh, what's going on down there? <laughs> Oh, I know. Poo! Right, so, <laughs> whatever name that you want. Now, uh, I just stick with Anakin Skywalker. You can choose who you want, but there is an achievement with Anakin, so might as well just stick with this broski. And this is where we're going to start slapping in them cheats, yo. Right, so press the A button and on race one. Now, you see winnings right there in the t bottom left-hand corner. Make sure to choose it to winner takes all. We're going to need a lot of money for a lot of upgrades later on. So then we can start the race. Press the A button twice. When you see the countdown, hit the start button. Now press on the D-pad left, down, right, up. So that's left, down, right, up. You'll see the game cheats at the bottom, and then what we're going to do, click it, we're going to put debug level up to level 6, so you can just press up on the D-pad to put that to level 6. Um, we're going to put the AI level down to roughly about 5 or 6, um, obviously just to make it that little bit easier. And then what you're going to do is press the left bumper 4 times, in fact we're going to put mirrored mode on as well, because there's an achievement for winning a race with mirrored mode on. Now press the left bumper 4 times until you can see... Just on the left-hand side of the screen there, it it looks like a track. Now, that is kind of like your minimap, you know, thinking of your Super Marios and stuff like that. So, what you're going to see, press the right trigger to go. Now, make sure that you are in the lead. You've got to make sure that you're in the lead. And then, as soon as you are in the lead by a good distance, press the Y button to go back a little bit. And then, press the A button to go forward, or hold the A button. So, as you can see, on the t if you have a look at the picture on the top left-hand corner, you'll be going... Um, up the top and then back down. So I do, I do apologise that it was a bit quick there. Um, <coughs> so I'll try and explain this as best I can. So, um, again, once the race begins, um, you need just basically just follow the top left, follow the pictures on the top left. So once you have 
uh, got into a bit of a lead, and there's a little bit of a gap in the uh, picture at the top there. Again, you need to hold the white button until you are back, uh, sort of in the top left corner. So obviously, when you start, you'll be at the very top of the screen on your mini map if you're looking at the mini map. So what you need to do is get a lead, press the white button until you are on the left hand side of the mini map, just um you know, just before you're about to hit the uh, the top of it. So, again, it may take a few times to get used to, but once we can, uh, once we'll start again, you can leave mirror mode off, go back into your game cheats and put the AI level down. The debug level will stay there, which is fine. So just pop the AI level down. So again, it may t just take a few times to get used to. Uh, so again, you'll go here, look at, look at yourself at the top. Oh, okay, well, apparently I died. There. So, get a bit of a lead, and then when you're in the lead, press the Y button until you are just in the top left corner, then hold the A button, and again, as you can see then, that will count as a lap, and uh, yeah, that is how you will win, so again, it's a bit of trial and error sometimes, um, and it does take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you've got the sort of knack down where, again, you go into the lead, press the Y button to go back until you are just underneath the top left corner and then pr press and hold the A button and just keep doing that and you can get these uh, race wins in literal seconds. So I do hope I explained that well. If not and you're still a little bit confused, again, just have a look and see exactly what as, as, exactly as I'm doing here with the top left corner picture and hopefully you'll get a bit more visual representation then. So we'll unlock another achievement here. Obviously I'm going to be editing down and not showing you every single race, just where we get achievements and everything. So the next one then, what we can do is go into race 5 or whichever race it is. Now when the countdown begins, as the number 1 is starting to fade down, um, then you can press the right trigger and that will give you a boost start and that is for the uh, that's for another achievement called incubator or whatever it is So as soon as it starts fading away press the right trigger and you will get the incubunga achievement um, Again, it may take you a couple of times What you can do though if you keep if you keep failing it like I said just that you can just press the start button and then go ahead and restart the race until you get that achievement Otherwise again, just carry on as you're doing uh, going through race by race, there we go, so we're on now to race 6. Like I said, if you can get the timing and everything down, it's literally, as I said, it takes oh, literally seconds to do. So these 21 races will come and go quicker than a thing and a big thing. So after this race is complete, ah, we've just got another boost start. So as we can see, we're going to get ahead just a little bit, press the white button, just at the top left corner, Press the A button, hold hold the A button, go forward and keep doing that. Hopefully by now you would have gotten a bit more of an idea for that one. But we unlock the Cell Block Racer for unlocking Fudsang. The um, well-known thing with the face. Yeah. Um, otherwise what you can do after you complete race 7, you will get your start, your engine's achievement for completing the amateur pod racing circuit. So as I said, there are three, well there are four... Um, Circuits each with seven tracks on them each apart from the last one which has four so I just lied to you right there um, So once you've done that Again, this is just the last the last race So uh, yeah, so like I said, I edited it down I'm not gonna I'm only gonna be showing you where we get achievements and stuff So once you have won everything this is where your achievement will unlock called start your engine Yeah and then you can't actually skip this one, so you've got to wait for a few seconds. And then what you can do is just hit down on the left stick to go to the next one. And again, you're just going to be doing the same thing. So every single time, you need to go into your cheat menu, put the AI level down once again, of course, to f around 5 or 6. Uh, the debug menu will stay as it is. And then you just keep on going. You will unlock the Bullseye achievement for unlocking Bullseye Miranda. Uh, after the first Sunken City race right there. And then for the next achievement, it is just another unlocking, unlocking Wan Shandage. So as usual, every race you start, before it counts down, put the AI level down to 5 or 6. You can put it down lower as well if you want to make it even easier. Um, but you know, just done it as a good solid 5. Uh, so again, it'll just be the same thing. As soon as you get ahead, hold the Y button, top left corner. Press and hold the A button, and then Y button, and then A button, and then Y button. And as I said, literal seconds, which is nice. That's what you want. But after that race, you will get the Devlick is in the details for unlocking Sand Wandage. 
sandwich. And then it is literally just a case then of smashing through all seven tracks, doing the same thing as we've been doing. Um, and then you will get the, uh, as soon as you get the uh, bleh, the seventh race complete, you will get the Don't Get Cocky Kid for completing the semi-pro pod racing circuit. So we've done that in, well, prop, I think roughly around less than 20 minutes, around 15 minutes. If you got it a lot quicker than I did, I personally, I didn't get it, uh, the, the whole hold Y and hold A stuff. I didn't get it straight away. Um... The, out of these seven races, there is only one achievement that we'll be grabbing uh, for unlocking Sibalba, which is uh, called by far the favourite today. This is on the Galactic Pod Racing Circuit, so again, it's another seven races, so as you've been doing, just crack on with absolutely everything you've been doing. Um, I will be speaking about the boost in a second, uh, well, in a second, in just, a, well, pretty soon. Um... But there we go. So after race, whatever that was, um, you will get the unlock the Bulber achievement. Oh, in fact, I think that was the last one. So you got to do all seven races to get the two achievements there. Yeah, from Uvo IV to Tatooine, and by far the favourite today. So you get those two achievements there. Um, now, problems. These are the credits. Now, because we've got cheats on, do not skip them and do not turn them off. And if you're all wondering what the problem is, the credits take about 10 minutes. Oh, yes, it's one of those. You can't skip them. You can't speed them up or anything. Um, so you've just got to literally wait. Wait and hold back 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so that's always fun. So let's just do a little bit of editing magic. Oh, there we go. Zimbo the Magnificent. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, very special thanks to George Lucas, who had no input in the game, I expect. I mean, he did... Uh, have a lot of input in the actual wars of stars themselves. Anyway, once we are here and we have done these, what we're going to do is actually get our first upgrade. So we can go back onto our second save slot. We're going to uh, select Sibulba this time because we need to win a race as Sibulba and use his weapons. Um, we're going to go down to the last one, which is the Invitational Pod Racing Circuit. Again, make sure it says winner takes all. But now from here, don't start race. Go down to vehicle upgrades. And from here, we need to choose every single one of the best upgrades that we can. So we'll start off here with Traction in the top left-hand corner. So just press the A button here to select it, and then go to the R600 Repulso Grip. So the R600 Repulso Grip, press the A button to select it. Press the A button to buy it. And we'll get an achievement for doing that. Uh, then back out and now what you need to do is press um, is go right on the left stick that'll go to the next upgrade there it is for the turning and for the best one you need to buy the control stabilizer there it is control stabilizer so again once you've got that control stabilizer press a twice to buy it and then b to back out and then we'll go again on the left stick, go right, so you can go down another one, go to accelerate, and now we need to buy the MAG-6 injector, the MAG-6 injector. or Again, and again, make sure it is the MAG-6 injector, buy that one, back out. Top speed, so again, go down to the next one, the top speed one, we need to buy the Block-6 thrust coil. The Block-6 thrust coil, which makes your speed... I mean, pretty top, to be honest. So, uh, you, know, you can't beat a bit of top speed. Now, we won't have enough to buy all the upgrades just yet. We do need to do the remaining races. Um, but for the air brake, uh, it's the Quadrijet air brake. If you've got enough money, it's the Quadrijet air brake. For me, at the minute, I don't have enough money. So, we need to come... Uh, 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 I'll give you... Uh, uh, you be, uh, uh. Otherwise, you can go down to cooling. You should have enough for cooling. And it'll be the turbo coolant pump. So the turbo co coolant pump. We're going to buy that one. Yeah, there we go. And then finally for repair, the best one is the cluster 2 power plug. So the cluster 2 power plug. Again, I don't have enough money. So what we're going to do now from here is do the remaining four races. So we can get all the money and get all the yum yums. This time we can start a race. Uh, now, what we're going to do then, after this one, of course, as I said, we need to put the AI level down to 5 or 6. Uh, but this time, once we win, we're going to get two achievements. So, again, obviously, do what you're doing. Um, I actually... 
Now what you need to do actually for this one, when you go into the cheats, press the left bumper again four times so you can get the um, little mini-map around the screen. I forgot to do it that time, but still uh, got away with it, which is always neat. Anyway, that'll get you the Welcome to the Dark Slide for unlocking Slide Parameter. And the an especially dangerous Doug for winning a race with Sebalba. So that's two done. Now then, for the next race, because we've reached top speed, if you can, try and get a boost, a uh, boost start. Um, because we're going to be reaching 700 miles per hour now. If you don't get it yet, um, I'll be showing you how to reach 700, because we need to reach 1,000 miles per hour as well. So don't panic if you can't get the 700 mile per hour achievement unlocked just yet. Um, I only done it now because apparently I lucked my way into it without realising what the hell was going on. Um, but it, uh, sort of nine times out of ten, it is because I've done the sort of boost start, as you're going to be able to see. Just with this first straight, there we go. I ought, I immediately got to 700 miles per hour before crashing, burning, and dying. Uh, so once you've got that, then um, do the thing as you've been normally be doing to win the race. Hold Y, hold A, hold Y, hold A, hold Y, and hold the A button. Uh, we're going to get the Take in the High Road achievement after that one as well for unlocking Bozzy Baranta. And then it's literally just a case of completing these last two races in order to get the Fastest Racer in the Galaxy achievement for finishing all the races in the first of the plus. So we'll get another two achievements here. So there we go. Uh, the Invitation accepted for completing the Invitational Pod Racing Circuit. Do I look good? Do I sound good with a posh voice? Nah. And we'll get the fastest racer in the galaxy achievement for finishing all the first races in first place. Or something or other. So, now that we've done all four of those, we can actually go ahead and get the rest of the best upgrades. So, you can just pick any race. Uh, make sure you pick the Sebulba again. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, and then, obviously, at the main menu here, go back down to vehicle upgrades. It should be the air brake, if you've been following along. It should be the air brake and the repair tool that we need. So, air brake, remember, was the quadrijet air brake. That is the best test test one. Best test 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 one. Oh, oh sticking what up here, Bahuta? I've had a deal. And then, of course, down to repair, and it is the cluster two power plug. Cluster two power plug. There she blows, then we can just press the B button to back out, and there it is. You came, you looked, you bought. Right, sticking with the main menu, now go down to buy pit droids. Buy the old arm pit droids. There's three of these, they cost a thousand each, so just press the A button a total of three times. Three times. And that'll get you the servo droids, comma, ink, full stop, achievement. Job done. Right, so we've only got a couple left now. We need to hit 10 enemies with Sebulba's weapon, perform a boost, reach 1,000 miles per hour, taunt during a boost, and repair your engines from warning. Very... I mean, it's all easy. So, what we can do with Sebulba's weapon, as we start, just just press the Y button. As you can see, there's like a flame that's coming out of the side of, of uh, Sebulba's cart. Or pod racer, sorry. So, just restart the race as soon as you start. Get in the lead, press the uh, Y button, and that'll sort of hit maybe two or three enemies. Uh, but literally, you can just keep doing this until the achievement unlocks. I think it took me... Personally, it took me about four or five times. Um, so it'll probably be about the same for you. There it is, then. Bantha Pudu. Oh. Wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a great-sounding achievement name. Now we can go ahead and perform a boost. Now... What you can see in the um, bottom right hand corner there, where it says 332 at the minute, uh, obviously that is your miles per hour. So what will happen, when you are obviously accelerating, it'll, the um, blue bar will go up, and then what you need to do is press up on the left stick, and that will be like a sort of brown meter that will go up, and as soon as it hits the top, and the dot at the top is yellow, then you can go ahead and press the A button, and that will give you a boost. Again, it may take one or two times, but as you can see, Bam, there we go. So as soon as it's um, hit the top, right there. As soon, yeah, so as soon as it hits the top and it goes green, hold the left stick up and then it'll tell you boost when it goes yellow, the dot at the top there. That is how you boost things. That'll get you the woohoo achievement. So hopefully, again, it may take a few tries just to get used to it, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, now what we're going to do is go on to uh, pretty much any race, but we're going to pick 
Bulls Roar. Uh, so we're going to make sure to pick Bulls Roar. And then we're going to go to the Galactic Pod Racing Circuit and choose the first race executioner. We're going to go for the 1,000 miles per hour and, if you haven't got it yet, the 700 miles per hour as well. So, again, it is literally just a case of boosting as much as you can, but there's a nice big straight on here. There's a couple of um, straights, especially on the last four levels as well, so if you just wanted to do that, there we go. I already hit the 1,000 miles per hour as we were going down, um, so I didn't even need a boost there. Oh, did I? Well, I went quick, so I didn't see. Now, uh, make sure when you're doing another boost, press the Y button. So as soon as you've got a nice bit of straight going, get boost in, press the Y button immediately. So as soon as you boosted, press the Y button immediately. There we go. So, <laughs> so yeah, sometimes it may take a few because there's like little corners and you're crashing and stuff. It may take a few, uh, a few attempts to get the boost in. But that is how you get the eat my exhaust for taunting during a boost. Now we've only got one achievement left, and that is for repairing your engines from morning back to stable. So what we're going to do, we're going to completely back out. Now, it took me roughly about 20 minutes before I realised. Um, so you can't actually do it on, or it, it seems like you can't do it on the cheat uh, save. Uh, so what we need to do, we're just going to back all the way out and start a completely new save slot. ABC is good. Doesn't matter who you pick. Uh, so we'll just start with the first race, etc, etc. Now, what we need to do is obviously we just need to boost a couple of times. Uh, put invincibility on as well, that will help so you don't crash. But what we need to do then is boost a couple of times until you see on the bottom left hand corner where it says warning and uh, fire and engine and stuff like that. They'll be able to see it in just a momo. There we go, so temp warning. Uh, we'll do it, just do another one where it says uh, fire or whatever, temp warning. There we go, overheat. Now, once you see your engine is on fire, press and hold the right bumper. And that will actually get you the achievement. So there we go then. So that's it. A nice free games with gold game with gold, which is free. And that is a nice easy 1,000 out of 1,000. Thank you, cheats. Now you can't beat being, you can't beat uh, cheater. It depends on the situation, of course. But uh, cheating in games, perfectly fine. It's what makes everyone happy, doesn't it? But there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game for what it was. And that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Again, I do hope that I explained things as well as I could, especially because it, it does take a little while to sort of get used to. But hopefully I explained that well. If I didn't, then please feel free to call me whatever you want in the comment section. A big shout out to all my YouTube members and all my Patreon supporters as well. So thank you so, so much for watching again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Game Pass game slash Games with Gold game. Hoa's coming up next. Oh, you howa. <laughs> Until then, big love.